Final story tonight, Jamaica now finds itself at a crossroads where although ranked among the world's top consumers of fish, the nation currently imports 65% of the fish it consumes. The fisheries ministry has embarked on a mission to scale back dependence on imports and foster sustainable practices within the country's maritime space. Raheem White tells us more. In a bid to tackle this challenge head-on, the ministry is launching a multifaceted initiative aimed at empowering fisheries and modernizing the industry. One crucial aspect of this project involves educating stakeholders on conducting operations that are mindful of climate change and recognizing fishing's impact on marine ecosystem and livelihood. What you haven't heard is that outside of the training, we're also MP going to choose six vessels from each of these fishing beaches and we're going to retrofit them with the ice boxes, the VHA, the VHHF radios and the GPS equipment so that they literally can go out and do this long life fishing. Furthermore, the ministry is investing in technological upgrades, retrofitting six vessels with state-of-the-art GPS and long life fishing equipment. These announcements are poised to revolutionize operation, promote efficiency and sustainability on the high seas. But this is just the start. In fact, I would have heard one of the trainers indicating not only how excited the fishers were, but how they were clamoring, having now been exposed to devices, to have more GPS devices to utilize in their regular fisheries practice. And I'm pleased to announce that we're going to start a program. We're going to be procuring at least 100 GPS devices to distribute to fishers across varying fishing beaches. However, the ministry's efforts extend beyond modernization and technological innovation. With a keen eye on sustainability, the government through the National Fisheries Authority, NFA, has undertaken the Promoting Community-Based Climate Resilience in the Fisheries Sector Project. This project, supported by the Climate Initiative Fund and the World Bank Group, is investing 4.87 million USD to provide alternative livelihood and bolster climate resilience. They need greater facilitation. They have challenges with the cost of inputs, and we have to help them in that regard. And that is why this year we're going to expand our fisheries incentive program to really help our fishers be able to retool. Additionally, they need training. And, you know, when they get the training, they take to the training. Raheem White, CVM News.